this is Jay and welcome to my channel and the whole reason for this channel is because I have very bad taste in movies now I'm not asking you to join me to watch bad movies so the whole purpose of this is because my husband has been telling me oh there are so many good movies which I have to agree there are so many good movies that you have not watched and I've just noticed I have missed decades worth of great movies out there and then with the pandemic we anyway we are not going to the cinemas anymore yes some of us are now going back to it where I'm living but uh, you need to be fully vaccinated and whatnot um, but anyway those great movies are not there in the cinema anymore so I thought what a great way for me to explore because there are a lot of great things that you can learn from the movies as well so i wanted to try the lord of the rings the it is a trilogy and i'm going to take one movie at a time and i thought okay the first one the fellowship of the ring i i wanted to watch it and then it's like, oh it's the extended cut it's three and a half hours so i will be splitting it into maybe one or two i don't know whether three will be there and then release it on a few day, within a few days time I will greatly appreciate you liking this, sharing this, subscribing to the channel and most of all commenting. Just let me know what did you think. Uh, if you are keen, if you are interested, I will be releasing the full length reaction video on Patreon. Uh, the links will be in the description box. So without further ado, let's dig into our first movie, The Fellowship of the Ring. began with the forging of the great rings and nine nine rings were gifted to the race of men who above all else desire power for within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race but they were all of them deceived for another ring was made in the land of Mordor in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. One. Disaster right there. I sense it. One ring to rule them all. Never gonna help. One by one, the three lands of Middle Earth fell to the power of the ring. The last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Victory was near. But the power of the ring could not be undone. Son of the king took up his father's sword. He could do that? Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, 
was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur, who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. But the hearts of men are easily corrupted. But and they the lost his father. Has a will of its own. It betrayed Isildur <laughs> to his death. Oh no! Both the father and son. No. Yeah, it is the evil ring now, isn't it? Yeah. And some things that should not have been forgotten were lost. History became legend. Legend became myth. And for two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Until. When chance came, it ensnared a new bearer. It abandoned Gollum. But something happened. The ring did not intend. It was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. What's this? A hobbit, Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. Oh, <clears throat> Gollum lost it, but it ruined him for five hundred years. I hope. You can hear him crying. I hope it does some good to him because he didn't do any good to him with when while he had it, I guess. Little Earth. The third age of this world. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I love the warm browns in this house. Really warm. It has a very homey feeling. There and back again. A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. Hobbits have been living and farming in the four farthings of the Shire for many hundreds of years, quite content to ignore and be ignored by the world of the big folk. Middle-earth being, after all, full of strange creatures beyond count, hobbits must seem of little importance. Being neither renowned as Those are so, so cute. great warriors, nor counted <laughs> <laughs> I found that Hobbit's only real passion is for food. <laughs> Rather unfair observation, as we have also developed a keen interest in the brewing of ales and the smoking of pipe weed. <laughs> but where our hearts truly lie is in peace and quiet. And good tilda. For all Hobbits share a love of things that I would love to stay in a place like that because I, I live in a city in a metropolis so we do not have community like that we live in stacked homes so I would love to have a community like that and I can definitely fit into a community where there's love peace quiet and you love food why not and I love to garden I would love to live in this place and the houses are so cute. Mm. It is no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. Frodo, the door. Frodo is not there. Dickelbats, where is 
that boy. Late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. <laughs> he is the colour. Aww. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. I love his feet. They're so long and flat. Well, well grounded feet. Here she comes. He's like me. It happens to me all the time. But I'm not gonna lose that kind of a ring. I won't get one like that. All right, then keep your secrets. Good. I know you have something to do with them. Before you came along, we Bagginses were very well thought of. Indeed. Never had any adventures or did anything unexpected. If you're referring to the incident with the dragon, I was barely involved. All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out of the door. Whatever you did, you've been officially labeled a disturber of the peace. <laughs> That's very nice of him to entertain the kids. Oh, that's so cute. Gandalf, I'm glad you're back. So am I, dear boy. So gorgeous. Man, oh man. I know this was done in New Zealand. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The green. My God. Gandalf? Bill Murphy. Dear Gandalf. Good to see you. One hundred and eleven years old. Who'd believe it? My alleged thirst. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's like a punishment <laughs> coming to this house. Now that's now that's a cake. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mercy three. Monstrous trolls. And they were all arguing amongst themselves about how they were going to cook us. Whether it be turned on a stick or whether they should sit on us one by one and squash us chilly. Oh, they spent so much time arguing that whether to use the white horse that the sun's first light crept over the top of the trees. Turn them all to stone. <laughs> now th th that's a very scary story for kids. <laughs> it's <a> scary. <laughs> Halloween. Supposed to stick it in the ground. It does in the ground. Outside. That was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
like his 60s. I bid you all a very fond farewell. Oh no, the evil is taking over, Bilbo Baggins. It's supposed to be a really good man, isn't it? Oh, that's an evil ring. I think you've had that ring quite long enough. You want it for yourself? Bilbo Baggins! Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I am not trying to rob you. Wonderful must it be to have a friendship like that. Oh, these things that we don't have these days, I believe. Yeah, not that we are going to live into our hundreds and two hundreds and so on, but it's beautiful. The markings upon the band begin to fade. The writing, which at first was as clear as red flame, has all but disappeared, a secret now that only fire can tell. Uh, is it secret? Is it secret? Some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are a few who can. The language is that of Mordor, which I will not utter here. Mordor? In the common tongue, it says one ring will rule them all. But he was destroyed. Sauron was destroyed. I actually thought Sauron was destroyed. But I was wondering where where that whole lava thing was going on as well because it was his kingdom. Oh wow. The spirit of Sauron endured. There is one other who knew that Bilbo had the ring. I looked everywhere for the creature Gollum, but the enemy found him first. <laughs> I don't know how long they tortured him. But amidst the endless screams and inane babble, they discerned two words. Baggins! Sure. Baggins. But that would lead them here. Who goes here? For the 
cannot stay in the Shire. No. No, it can't. So he must leave at it? Must I do? You must leave. And leave quickly. Where? Where do I go? Get out of the Shire. Make the village free. Free. What about you? I'll be waiting for you. Live I die. And stay off the road. I can cut across country easily enough. That'd be a problem. Shouldn't he be putting it into a zipped pocket or something? He just slipped on his pocket. It can just go out because they need to climb things and go around. I think it's not a good idea. More trouble to come. In the art of facing creatures, you can learn all that there is to know about their ways in a month, and yet after a hundred years. Uh, this is it. This is what? If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Remember what Bilbo used to say? It's a dangerous business, Frodo, going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept over to. What a good friends. What a good friend. For that is why you have come, is it not? My old friend, Saruman. They all look the same. Tall, long hair, white hair. You are sure of this? Beyond any doubt. So the ring of power has been found. But the man here is a dangerous tool, Saruman. Why? Why should we fear to use it? They are not all accounted for. The lost seeing stones. We do not know who else. What am I hearing for this? This for real? So I think elves are, themselves have this stupid, power-hungry people as well. When did Saruman the Wise abandon reason for madness? <laughs> What happened to him? What I said. Ooh, that was close. I think I've broken something. Trust a brandy buck and a took. Oh, that was just a detour, a shortcut. A shortcut to what? The mushrooms. Mm. 
out of all the thieves, it's nice to see some vegetable thieves. For food. Where's the rain? I think we should get off the road. <laughs> get off the road! All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. 